Welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at use ID hook. So the main use case of this hook is to create unique IDs that we can use for HTML elements. So let's go and see it in action. Probably one of the best examples that we could find is a label and an input where the label will point to the input when we click on the label. So if I click here, it will be focused here pretty standard HTML. This works fine. But if we try to render this form on the same page multiple times, then we will have multiple input elements with the same ID of email and multiple label with the HTML4 of the email. And this is not correct because the ID should be unique on the page. To fix this problem, we would use the use ID. So here first I would add it to the project and then for both of these I would use the ID just like that as you can see this hook does not receive any input and it returns a unique ID and this ID is unique to each individual component which means that we can render this form on our page as many times as we want without having to worry about the duplicate IDs. So if we go here and refresh, it's still working fine. And if we look at the HTML, we can see the ID is in this form. Now, one thing to note that this ID are invalid selectors. So we cannot use something like a query selector method to grab this HTML element and that is intentional because React wants us to use use ref instead of using query selector to grab this HTML element and if you're unfamiliar with use ref I have a video that covers that quite well multiple of this now if you want to have multiples of these it's still fine let me say something like this Let's say this is password and the type is password. Now here I can say uh, it's a string literal with let's say ID and then dash email. Something like this. Same for this. And this should be password. And password. And now it's working perfect. So yeah, this was it for the use ID. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And uh, see you in the next one.